Shemto, uh, who is, uh, well, the, the, the pronunciation for sure is not good, but he is the chairman of the Ale Yerok Party, El, El Partito della, della Foglia Verde in Israele. Eh, L'abbiamo conosciuto. We met him just a few weeks ago, and we're very happy that he's joined us in Brussels and joined the Transnational Radical Party. You have the floor. And then it will be Guido Blancari. Hi. Um, the Greenleaf Party is greatly honored by the invitation extended by Italy's Radical Party to take part in this extraordinary meeting of the TRP's General Council and would like to express our gratitude with special thanks to Marco Capato, Sergio Rovarsio, and Sharon Itza for, for initiating constructive dialogue with the GLP. Before I uh, will read my speech, uh, I would like to have a short comments about uh, a few uh, issues. Um, Ran Cohen, a member of the Knesset, uh, spoke uh, earlier, and uh, Boaz Wachtel, uh, leader uh, uh, and founder, he, is, he was the founder of the Rock Party, uh, talked earlier, and other people. And uh, we said, they said, and I joined them, that uh, we want peace and we do not want uh, the Palestinian land. And this is, uh, I think, um, all the Israelis almost share this um, view. Uh, we didn't want ever to take their land and we try to uh, to make ourselves better always this morning i uh, i uh, i saw uh, ran cohen talking to um, said uh, walim who asked him if uh, he is not uh, uh, seeking to get some recognition from iraq uh, because he is actually a iraqi uh, iraqi refugee and i explained him that uh, we do not seek uh, recognition in being victim. Uh, we want to uh, prosper and we do whatever we can in order to achieve better life and to uh, go to the future. And uh, I heard the Palestinian, uh, I heard you what you said. Listen, uh, what? Lily, listen. Uh, maybe Israel is not perfect, but your people are definitely not perfect. And like we try to change ourselves, and we don't come to blame you. Try to change yourself. You know, imagine what hap how we feel as Israelis that uh, we uh, pull out of Gaza Strip, and after one month we see missiles coming on us. We go out of Lebanon, and we see the Hezbollah there. Uh, yeah, we don't want those territories. Please help us to get out of there. Do whatever you can in your society to promote liberal ideas and to promote non-violent way of doing things, okay? And then I promise you that I will be ready to uh, sacrifice my life if Israeli soldier will shoot one bullet to a Palestinian person. Before you do it, and you, uh, you will be a parallel to uh, the GLP or to uh, Meretz and other parties in Israel, uh, so it will be very hard for us to help you. Okay, now I'll continue. Uh, the manifest of this uh, great conference and the great uh, World uh, Satyagraha for Peace represents the GLP's principal values in many areas. We, of course, have, uh, oppose violence as means to achieve goals and believe that peace cannot be reached merely by signing treaties, but as a structured process which the conflicted societies must actively work to complete. We also believe that the European Union can assist the success of this process in many ways. In principle, Israel could join the European Union today. The major characteristic of the Israeli society in its economical, political, and cultural things and norms are very similar to those of European countries. Israel has adopted European regulations and standards in many fields such as health, transportation, and the environment. Israeli culture influences are closely interrelated with their European counterparts. After internal discussion in the Greenleaf Party, we have decided to promote this move in our platform and activities in the dream that it will come to fruition. Modern Israel was established by Jewish immigrants from all over the world, but mainly from Europe. 
In fact, Zionism began as a national movement during the spring of nation in the 19th century. One can say that the pioneers of the Zionist movement sprang from liberal and democratic ideological roots. Perceiving freedom of choice and a central value in shaping society and state. Menachem Begin, the Prime Minister of Israel from 1977 to 1993, after being arrested by the former Soviet Union and sent to Siberia, wrote in prison in 1941 My ideology begins and ends with individual freedom and happiness. This sentence appears in his book, The Revolt which deals with the Jewish resistance to the imperialist British administration of Israel. Even so, the development of Israeli society differs from those of European countries in that Israel was born already as a modern democratic state and never attempted a totalitarian rule. In this sense, Israel is similar to the United States, Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. In the last hundred years, these countries found themselves facing common enemies in two world wars, in the Cold War and now in the war against fundamentalist terror. While all of humanity has faced this trying test, Israeli movers and shakers have been disappointed with many of Europe's actions. While the vision of Israel joining the European Union may appeal to many Israeli citizens, it will surely face many obstacles. In the event of referendum or elections, in the context of the current situation, Israeli citizens could easily be swayed to vote against EU membership. The ongoing violence throughout the Middle East threatens world peace and peace in Europe. And therefore, despite past events, Europe's rights and responsibilities for involvement in the peace process should be recognized. In the event that European activity comes to reflect the stated manifesto, Israel's potential membership in the European Union would grow closer to becoming a reality. Even now, Israelis see themselves... Sorry, okay. I will speak slow. Even now, Israelis see themselves as the frontier region of the free world in the war against terror, in, against fundamentalistic religious violence. Nevertheless, Israel is not yet recognized as a true part of the free world by Europe. The European real politic, based on practical objectives rather than ideals, must change. The interpretations of similar realities in different cultures construct the future. European, Israelis, and Arabs have different and sometimes conflicting perceptions of the same reality. The gradual development of European federalism has been a long process and one that is still in progress. For Israel to join the European Union, EU Parliament members, leading social groups in Europe, politicians, reporters, and other public figures must act to suit the Israeli public sphere of such a dramatic move which would undoubtedly restrict Israel's sovereignty and influence the unique Jewish character of the state. Is it okay? Una unanimous decisions in the common foreign and security policy condemning Israel, trade bans, and any comparisons between Israeli and Nazi actions must come to a complete halt. There is no further need in stated commitments to Israeli right to exist, as this right should be universally accepted as self-evident. So far, European activity is being interpreted by most Israelis as paternalistic and supportive of violence toward Israel in almost any pretext. The Greenleaf Party will vigorously promote Israel's EU membership in public dialogue and as part of our platform. But we expect to show the Israelis that there exist parallel bodies to the Greenleaf Party in Europe who prioritize this and other mutual interests and that Greenleaf Party counterparts are interested in accepting Israel's EU membership wholeheartedly. If the Alliance of Liberal Democrats of Europe concurs on these issues, then we are on the verge of a long and arduous pro uh, process for everyone concerned, a process which will, uh, with the potential to, gr to greatly expand individual liberties in our region and, in and increase the possibility of peace between Israel and the Arab world. Thank you very much.